Okay, I just want to say I've noticed when I've been editing my last couple of videos that my hair has been all over the place and kind of frizzy and uh, normally I don't care about that. It's hard to see on my screen so I don't often notice it until I'm editing and that's it's hard to see because of these three big very bright lights in my eyeballs. So to those of you who care about that sort of thing, I just want to extend my deepest and most sincere apologies. And actually no one has complained about it. This is all self-criticism. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Today's video is all about purse peace. Is this reality? Or is this a myth? And it's also a collaboration with Yota Style, and it was actually her idea. It's nice for her to have an idea of her own once in a while. That was a joke. So when Yota proposed this idea of doing a video on purse piece, I thought, well, I am the perfect person to talk about this because I have a background in social science research through psychology, and this is certainly a psychological issue. So first, let's define this. Purse piece is the idea that you are at peace with the collection of handbags that you currently own, and you feel no need to have any more handbags. So since this idea was proposed by Yota, I did extensive research. I found that purse piece is an ideal that many people aspire to, and some even claim to have reached it. However, in reality, purse piece is elusive. For those of us who care about handbags, purse piece can exist, but only as a temporary state. At some point, there will always be another bag that we want. And even when we obtain that bag, many of us start looking immediately while we're waiting for it to be shipped to us these days during quarantine. We immediately start looking for the next bag we want, or even another bag to want. Now, there are many reasons to want multiple handbags. You may want bags for different occasions, for different outfits, different looks. You may want classic bags, and you may want trendy bags. You may want expensive luxury bags, or you may want more inexpensive bags. The inexpensive bags allow you to buy more bags. These tend to be, I think for most of us, they tend to be the trendier bags, the ones that we know probably won't be in our collection forever, maybe for a few seasons. And I have had, I can't tell you how many people tell me that some of the inexpensive bags that I buy and unbox on this channel, I've heard this comment so many times. You know, for all those inexpensive bags that you buy, you could have bought one luxury brand bag. And to those people I say, that is not the point. And most of the time the people who say that are wrong about the finances. If you add up what I've spent on those inexpensive bags, it does not equal the price of one of the luxury brand bags. I had somebody tell me once, you know, for the price of those Birkin dupes, you could have bought a real Birkin. Uh, no, not even close. So there are legitimate reasons to buy multiple handbags. However, most of us who even talk about this idea of personal piece have a bigger problem. We are afflicted with handbag addiction. That's right. I know it can be difficult to admit. I did a video on this recently. I will post it below so you can check it out. Since that video, several people commented and brought up even more signs than the one I'd mentioned of handbag addiction. So I'll share a few of those with you now. First, and boy, isn't this true for those of us who buy luxury brand bags. The first time you buy one of those bags that you spend, let's say $1,000 on a Speedy, you get heart palpitations. It's difficult to do because you've never spent that much on a handbag. But then a couple months later, you see a bag for $2,000 and you think, oh, that's a bargain. Another sign is that we have dreams about handbags. I have had quite a few of those. I actually had one last night. I told you recently about how I was scammed by a company called Maximiliana, a handbag company. Well, they claim to be a handbag company. They're actually just scammers. I found them through an ad on Facebook during this quarantine time when I scroll Facebook quite a bit, more than I'm proud of. And they had some beautiful handbags and I purchased a few of them and never heard from the company again. So I'm in the process of having those charges removed from my bank account. But the dream I had last night was that the bags were finally delivered and I was so happy. And then I woke up and realized that they weren't and I was hit with reality again. Another sign of addiction is that you're up at all hours of the night stalking handbag websites like Louis Vuitton for 
difficult to find items. And that is especially true these days during quarantine because most of us don't have to go to work in the morning so we can stay up all night. But also because Vuitton has had all these items that have been so hard to find for the last couple years and they're popping up much more frequently now on the website. Another sign of handbag addiction is that when you meet someone new, you notice their handbag before you notice their face. Now for me, I have another addiction that is a priority over handbags, if you can believe it, and that is if I meet a new person and they have a dog, the person doesn't even exist. I zone in on the dog, that's all I see. I don't even notice the handbags. I know, hard to believe. And I'm sure many of you share that with me. Another sign is that when you go to a store, like a department store where there are different sections, the first place you go is the handbag section. Another is that if you store your bags in dust bags, that you have gone through the trouble of photographing the bag, printing the photos, possibly even laminating them, and attaching them somehow to the dust bags so you know what's in each one. Why do you need to know what's in each one? Why don't you know what you have? Because you have so many bags you forget. Another sign is you have the exact same handbag but in several different colors. Or you may have exactly the same handbag in exactly the same color but the hardware is a different color. Another sign is that before you get dressed in the morning you check the weather to see whether you can carry the bag that you would like to carry today. Because perhaps it's fachetta or suede or something else delicate and if it's going to rain, you can't wear that bag or you may need to break out your handbag raincoat. So those of us who are handbag addicts, we just never find purse peace. I hate to break it to you, but I think a lot of you already know that down deep in your soul. I've had people request that I do videos on purse detoxing and I'm gonna read this one comment to you. This person says, please make a video on how to heal yourself from this addiction or at least how to bring it down to a reasonable collection and stop wanting more. Honestly, I don't think there's a way. Is a handbag collection ever complete? Or can you only stop by selling all you have and never step into another store again. Now, as much as I would love to be able to help this person and so many of you, I have to admit to you that my name is Autumn Beckman and I am a handbag addict. So I'm really not qualified at this point to talk about or give advice on healing oneself from this addiction. Plus, it's an addiction that most of us don't want to be healed from. So what do you think? Have you ever found purse piece or thought you did? Or do you have an idea now of what handbags you still need to add to your collection and you feel like, once you have those, then I'll have purse piece. First of all, you're deluding yourself, but that's okay. We're all enablers on this channel. So let me know what bags you need to have purse piece and whether you feel like you've ever had it. Oh, and I just put my scarf away and remembered that this is a collab. So I'm supposed to tell you to go see Yota's video too. I will link that below. I have no idea what she's gonna say about purse piece, but I have diagnosed her as an addict too. So I have my suspicions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope that you and your family are doing well. I'll see you back next time. Bye.